Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, of course, Cruising with a Case Handler. Adam Handler and I started the show when he was actually doing it from his car, hence the name Cruising with a Case Handler. And now we're cruising with personal injury, immigration, information. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome on 93.5 WVIP-FM. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on Facebook and whatever social media platform you're actually listening to us on. We ask for you, one, to actually share, okay? Not only by you calling someone and telling them that we're on the radio, ready to answer personal injury and immigration questions, but also share on Facebook, share to at least 20 pages or 20 individuals' timelines and tell them that we're on. We have attorneys on. We've got Adam Handler, your personal injury attorney and a partner at the firm. We've got Nelson Madrid, a partner at the firm. Also, we call him the Maverick. And of course, we've got Conrad Pollock. We call him the Maestro, the managing partner at the firm. So we want for each and every one, uh, share the show. The show is solid, very good. We've built up a following and we have a wealth of information to share with you today. With that said, I'm gonna hand it over to my co-pilot, Mr. Adam Handler. How are you feeling today, man? How was your weekend and all of that? I'm going to let yeah. you introduce um, the attorneys here, the phenomenal attorneys we have. <laughs> all, all good, man. Uh, great weekend, uh, low key, uh, which is which was very interesting, a little change, but I, I really liked it. It just goes to show you, I think we're all learning lessons these days. Like, you know, we we were so accustomed to doing things like so big and, 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 bold and you know sometimes just paring it down a little bit makes it even more special so a lesson uh, that we certainly learned over the weekend and we're happy to um we're happy to come out of it feeling good uh and we've got an exciting week of work ahead of us uh we are like i think i, I did the count on wednesday we're about fifty thousand dollars short of 20 million for the year so Hopefully we'll have a settlement today or tomorrow and bust that bust that milestone, which is really something exciting. Uh, for those of you listening for the first time, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. 93.5 FM listeners, welcome. Good morning. We understand there's other things you could be watching and listening to right now, but the fact that you're here with us means the world to us. Those of you on Facebook, those followers, we're, we're, the numbers are strong right now. Um, and uh, we're happy to have you, happy to give you some information, happy to tell you how we can make your life better if, God forbid, you have uh, a legal situation, whether it's a personal injury case, legalizing your status here in the United States, which isn't, God forbid, that's a wonderful thing. Um, a criminal case, a matrimonial case. We are Paul, Paul Isaac DeSico. We are attorneys. You've got a legal question. We got a legal answer. You got a legal problem. Guess what? We got that legal solution. All you have to do is have our number. Uh, and, and dial it, 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID-WAW, 844-PPID-WAW. PPID stands for Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. We are a full-service law firm here in New York City. PPID is also uh, the initials of our practice. And an easy way for me to say on Monday, this is a layup. I'm just going to give you a layup. Well, that's actually not a layup. That's a, that's a jump shot. But uh, the layup right here, squeeze. You down with PPID? Come on. Adam Handler, Case Handler. You know me. I'm down with PPID. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we love doing that. All right. So the show is on immigration. It's on personal injury. I'm going to flip things uh, a bit this morning. We're going to jump right into questions and see if we can stump these attorneys right here. I've never, ever heard of this one before. H4. What is it? Well, I'm about to find out, I guess. If you travel to the U.S. on a H-4 visa and join your spouse and apply for the I-485 within a month. Will there be any issues, Nelson? Actually, Conrad can better answer that question. H-4, H-4 is a spouse of an H-1. Um, and if they're in lawful status and the, the spouse with the H-1 is applying for adjustment of status, then there shouldn't be any issue applying for adjustment of status. Uh, the H-4 spouse rides on uh, the adjustment application of the H-1. The H-4 is considered an accompanying spouse. They apply together. They don't have to apply together, but typically they apply together and they will both adjust status typically within a year and a half or so if they're in New York. What is, what is the H-1 visa? H-1 is a special, it's a work visa, temporary work visa for specialty occupations, typically professionals, um, engineers, uh, uh, you know, any kind of pro computer professionals you can think of, you know, lawyers, you know, whatever, uh, any kind of professionals um, that 
have a four-year college degree that are offered a specialty occupation acquiring that degree. I mean, I'm simplifying. I mean, it's become, the H-1 process has become extremely complex over the last couple of years because the Trump administration just hates that category. Um, so they've made it as difficult as possible. But basically professional workers with a four-year college degree or more have to be offered a job requiring that typical, uh, that type of degree specifically in that specific area. So if you have a degree in engineering, mechanical engineering, and you're offered a job as a mechanical engineer, that's a, that's a perfect uh, situation to get an H-1B visa. H-1s are subject to a, a quota though, uh, 65,000, a total of 85,000 per year. Uh, and they, the quota typically opens April 1st. And typically two, 225, 250,000 people apply every year. So you know, your chances usually getting it are one in three, roughly. Uh, it, it's, it's a bit on the complicated side, to, and I, I really couldn't get, go into any more detail here. Uh, but if people have questions on H1, give us a call. Something we do pretty a lot, a yeah. lot of. Yeah. And H4 is a spouse. Uh, yeah, so that a follow-up thing asking. Husband you. has an H1, you can, you, the, the wife can apply for an H4. You have a follow-up asking if you can actually study on an H4. Study? Yeah. Yes. On a degree. Typically, you want to have a student visa to do that. But if you're here on an H-4, most schools will permit you to enroll with an H-4. The H-4, though, is limited. The H-4, in, in terms of the, the duration of its, uh, of its validity, uh, is only valid as long as the husband's H-1 is valid. So if his is, is only a couple of years, the H-4 is going to expire in a couple of years as well. They might have to change the student visa. But the short answer is yes, they can apply to school with an H-4. Got you. All right. Once again, folks, the number to call the attorneys at the firm happens to be 844-774-3529. You can get yourself a free phone consultation, but I suggest that you just hire them. All right. Once again, the number 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Here's someone, they have a question on adoption. I'm having a problem. I am trying to adopt my grandson from Jamaica. Sent in the application already. I cannot find a social worker in New Jersey. Could you give me some advice on how to find a social worker in New Jersey and all the necessary paperwork? That's yeah. yours, Nelson. Uh, that's a great question. Um, we don't really um, recommend anyone uh, just because it's not something that we're necessarily involved with. Um, you know, it's not something I feel comfortable answering, quite honestly. Well, also, we're, we're, we practice in New York, uh, so we don't know that many people or different professionals in New Jersey. Plus, as a rule at our firm, we don't refer anybody unless we know who they are and the type of work that they do. Um, we typically like to refer people that we know will do the job as well or almost as well as we would. Uh, Otherwise, we don't refer anybody. Uh, they have to prove to us that they're worthy of a PPID referral. Yeah. I mean that. Yeah, I mean we, that. We, and I get those calls a lot. You know, people will call about a case that I'm not specifically interested in taking or from a state that I'm not licensed to practice. And they say, well, do you have somebody that you can refer me to? You know, I look at referrals as an extension of our own firm. If sure. I'm sending a client to an attorney um, listen, I'm always going to say nobody's as good as us, right? Uh, but uh, maybe they're just right there with us. But I'm not going to send somebody um, to, to, you know, to, to the, you send them out to the wolves because you never know how that attorney um, is, is going to be treating them. And then trust me, when things don't go right, who do you think the client blames? Right. Well, you sent me to them. Right. right. Well, I learned so, I learned that a long time ago, back way, way when I was a young attorney starting out, you know, and I would refer my friends that I knew in law school or, and I would get calls, you know, say, why did you send me to that guy? That guy is a jerk. He doesn't know what he's doing. He took my money and did nothing for me. I learned a long time ago yeah. uh, not to do that. And it's not fair. It's not fair to the, to the client either. Now, you know uh, I mean, the client wants to get the same. They call me. They're right. expecting the same kind of uh, superb representation that they expect from me. And I, and I appreciate that. And as a result, I will only refer people that I know are going to do the job. Yeah, I know it sounds harsh, but I'd, I'd rather tell somebody, sorry, uh, there's nothing we can do for you than to send them to an attorney that I don't have full confidence in. And, you know, there's a flip side to it. You know, we are a, a huge source of referrals from other attorneys. 
whether it's immigration cases or personal injury cases. Conrad, we, we get these cases all the time. Other law firms are referring us business because they know that you know we can take care of it in a way that they can feel comfortable sending their clients to. Same thing with me. Right. Uh, we, we've talked about this before, Squeeze. I have personal injury attorneys, right? that say, Handler, will you take over this case? I know you will get more money on it than we will. Take this okay. case. And you know that, that my biggest settlement ever was the $5.2 million last year, the construction accident case. That was referred to us by another law firm. They didn't feel comfortable enough handling a case of that size. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, lay it on us, lay it on us. And we knocked it out of the park, $5.2 million dollars because a lawyer said this case is better off in your hands paul paul guys ladies and gentlemen adam handler nelson madrid conrad pollock right here speaking on of course immigration speaking of course on personal injury make the call right now to the firm 844-774-3529 that's 844-774 three, five, two, nine. Yes, they are a full service law firm. You don't need to go anywhere else. Reach out to them. They'll take it from there. Eight, hey, four, four, seven, seven, four, five, two, nine. Yeah. Squeeze, if I could just jump in. Nelson, um, well, I think uh, it, it, it's topical considering what's going on in the country, the, in the world these days. Maybe you want to talk a little bit about what you went through this morning in terms of uh, the client uh, and the situation we had. Oh, yeah, very, I, interesting. very interesting. Yeah, actually, um, we had a client who was scheduled for an adjustment of status interview today at 26 Federal Plaza at nine o'clock this morning. Um, our client contacted us basically over the weekend and said that they were just diagnosed with COVID. So we had to get basically the test results, right? USCIS a letter and I had to appear in person this morning actually request to speak with a supervisor and make sure that my request was actually and this is interesting Conrad I learned this today um, made sure that my request was actually put with the file so the supervisor actually went pulled the file put my request and this is also interesting Conrad um, there was a gentleman before me who tried to reschedule his mother's interview. And apparently the medical documentation he provided was not enough. And the officer basically told him, you know, this doesn't say what you're telling me, you know, so we'll get back to you and we'll let you know. With our case, we actually had something that said, tested positive for COVID-19. So the officer, the supervisor actually assured me our client would be rescheduled and again, he pulled the file in front of me. He put my request in front of the file and he said he was going to give it to the officer who was supposed to interview our client. Now, um, so now I can only imagine, Nelson, that there are a lot of attorneys out there, especially on a Monday morning in a rainstorm, that would not be going through that trouble, right? Oh, and and what, would that. what would happen? What would happen? Well, you know, it's actually interesting. It's It's Although there are attorneys that would go still, and it's happened to us. And this is why I mentioned that the supervisor actually pulled the file in front of me. Because sometimes, even if you do go, the request doesn't make it to the file. And your, client, your client's application is ultimately denied. And they say, well, you never showed and you never filed a reschedule request. But here, because I asked to speak with a supervisor, because the supervisor took the time, pulled the file, came in front of me. And also what I did was my request, you always make two copies, right? One goes with the file, one you leave with immigration. And the second copy, they date, stamp, and time. So now I have a copy showing, a stamped copy from immigration showing that I appeared in person, that they took one copy and they stamped my copy confirming that we actually did things the correct way. But to answer your question, Adam, if this is not properly done, there is a strong possibility they can deny that application for adjustment of status and either you have to refile or you can get put into removal proceedings and then have to refile 
And that would obviously cost thousands of dollars if you put wow. it in legal proceedings and you have to go that route. Not to mention, you know, we Nelson and I and, and one and a couple of other people in the office, we were back and forth all weekend about this in terms of getting the right documentation from the client. I mean, again, this is Thanksgiving weekend. And, and Nelson and I were talking on the phone yesterday, Saturday, with another associate, getting all the documentation together to make sure every, that we had everything in order so that we could get into immigration this morning to – uh, to, to make the necessary request to reschedule this appointment. You know, so it, it, it might seem like, uh, you know, like a doctor's appointment. I got this appointment, I'll just call or whatever, not show and I'll just show up the next time. That could end up costing you substantially. Well, monetarily, Conrad monetarily could be in the thousands when you have to refile the case or you end up removal proceedings and then you're spending thousands on lawyer fees. Fun fact, by the way, we've had callers squeeze who have listened to the show right. had another attorney who said, yes, we'll take care of the rescheduling request. And the case was denied and they came to us. Right. Uh, it turns out that, you know, there's obviously no evidence that the request was ever made. There's no, you know, date stamp. There's no letter from the attorney. There's no evidence. Um, and they've come to us now and we've had to refile, but, you know, obviously we're doing the right thing by our clients. You know, we know how to do this. We've done this many times before, you know, and as Conrad said, yes, we were all on the phone. We were going back and forth on email. Uh, in fact, I have an uncle who's a doctor and I called my uncle to make sure that the letter that was provided would suffice. And, you know, that the letter said what we thought it said um, and ultimately was taken care of this morning. Absolutely. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's the depth of this firm, PPID, Paula Pollock, Isaac, and the Seco. Right now, um, the number is 844-774-3529. I'll be slow with the number. If you do call before the top of the hour, you're guaranteed a free phone consultation. That's one. Two, after you get that free phone consultation, which is just for a few minutes, you need to hire them so that they can do the right thing by you unlike others externally. So call them now, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. I wanna say thanks to everybody who is on Facebook sharing. If you can share to an additional 20 people what it is that you're watching by clicking the share button, that will be greatly appreciated. And everybody on 93.5, please just text someone and let them know that you're tuning into a great show called Cruising with the Case Handler. Gonna be flipping into the case handler, but I've got one question for Nelson. Why don't you tell the people how it's possible for you to have a 9 a.m. appointment and get to the office so quickly? <laughs> well, I, I get in uh, about seven o'clock in the morning, normally about 6.45, seven o'clock in the morning. Um, and again, that was one of the first things. This was not a case, by the way, that I was assigned to or that I was working on. This is a case that someone else was working on. So I had to pull the file. I had to go through the documents. Um, I had to put everything together. And I had to, again, uh, it was imperative I get to immigration before the scheduled interview uh, just to make sure that this was taken care of and that obviously immigration was aware of what was happening. Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, another fun fact. I, I, I do believe it's still in the same place. 26 Federal Plaza is near your office, right? Correct. Correct. Okay, great. So ladies and gentlemen, um, let's flip it over to Adam Handler, the most celebrated personal injury attorney in the Caribbean community, maybe in the immigrant community. Adam Handler, the case handler, Wagwan. Wagwan King, good morning to you. It's, uh, it's a Monday for those of you just tuning in right now. Uh, good morning to you. Uh, so happy to have you with us. Uh, this show is, of course, called, and we changed it now. It's not, Nelson, you weren't, you missed it last week. It's not cruising with the case handler more. Now it's cruising with the case handler. We're, 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 we're double fisting right now. So uh, thank you so much. We're, we're here to give you that information. And, and we say it once, we say it all the time. Uh, you got one chance to get it right, whether it's a personal injury case or immigration case. Trust me, trust me, trust me. First of all, personal injury. It's 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 a hundred percent correct. Once you sign on that dotted line, and you take that money from the insurance company, your case is over. You can't get more money for your medical bills, your time out of work, and your pain and suffering. So you better make sure that you have an attorney that's going to fight and get you that maximum amount the first time. One chance, 
one choice of lawyer, your case handler, of course, but also with immigration, because as you heard Nelson and Conrad saying before, uh, if you either go at it alone, go at it alone, or go at it with an attorney that you don't have full confidence in, uh, things can be very, very expensive down the road for you, undoing the mess. I mean, Nelson, I'm sure you have instances in which somebody comes to you, either having done it themselves or with one of these, you know, crackpot lawyers, and it is so the 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 shoelaces are so knotted, you know, to get it undone um, is almost. Uh, like a daunting task, more daunting than the initial case could have been in the first place. So please, ladies and gentlemen, we implore you, if you've got a legal question, give us a ring. The phone call is free. The advice is free. The consultation is free. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain by calling 844-PPID-LAW. That's 844-PPID-LAW. Uh, PPID, of course, is our firm, Paul, Paul Isaac DeSico. Um, and I just wanted to talk real quick about one case. Just, you know, we always like to have that, that, that true life success story on these shows because, uh, you know, we don't take our word for it. You know, we're attorneys. We're here. We're marketing our practice. You know, squeezes on this radio, marketing our practice. Of course, we want to make sure that we're, we're putting our best foot forward and really taking care of you folks. But listen, don't take our word for it. Take the, word of the words of the people that have come before you that have unfortunately woken up, never thinking they got into an act, they're going to get into an accident, and then boom, disaster strikes. Or people that have uh, you know, called our firm uh, and, and helped us legitimize their status in the United States. So we've helped tens and tens and tens of thousands of people, uh, you know, over the course of our respective careers, and we're happy to do so in the future. But let's just talk about one quick case. Um, this was uh, an auto accident case, a New Jersey case. Um, I am licensed to practice in New Jersey. I do handle New Jersey accident cases. Um, and this was Mike. Uh, Mike got a hundred grand uh, squeeze, uh, uh, you know, wearing, wearing that little out, you know, wearing your little sweater today. You look like one of those prep school guys. You look all like, uh, you know, dot my I's and cross my T's. Yes, sir. No, sir. So you're a smart guy. How much do you think the maximum insurance was on this case? I mean, you are Adam Handler, and obviously, seeing that you don't leave a penny on the table, it's 100K. Of course, of course. $100,000 maximum amount and squeeze. Uh, if you could read that quote for me, I'd appreciate it. My case was very difficult to prove, but the case handler team got the full amount for me. Unbelievable. I did not think that was going to happen, but they made it happen best attorneys I have ever dealt with. And I had already recommended their team to others and I will continue to do so. Mike from West Orange, New Jersey, proudly showing and holding a $100,000 big ass check. All right. This is unbelievable. A $100,000 settlement. Yeah. And, and, Adam, and, I like the fact that you don't, you don't play around, man. You're going for all the money. Well, listen, trouble. one chance, one chance to get it right. Mike, Mike couldn't reopen his case after it settled, right? And Mike had tons of choices of personal injury lawyers. There's a lot of personal injury lawyers out there. There was a lot of people advertising either top of the hour or later in the day. But remember, the case handler, often, Im often imitated, never duplicated. We get you the maximum amount. We do it quickly. Uh, this was not an easy case because Mike was making a U-turn. Um, he was stuck in traffic, made a U-turn, probably shouldn't have done it. But the other vehicle involved in the accident was speeding. And because they were speeding, they didn't have enough time to stop. So, you know, there's always two sides to the story. I always tell this to my girls, you know, I got three, three girls and one of them comes in my room crying. Ultimately, I say, listen, uh, you know, somebody is starting, but somebody, you know, it takes two to tango. And that's what happened here uh, with this case. But we still were able to give them a hundred thousand dollars, the maximum amount from Geico. We took care of it all. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what we do here at Pog Pog Guys at Deseco. I don't want to say it's magic because magic uh, is usually an illusion. But what we do here is, is extraordinary. It's special. I'm a third generation attorney. Um, we've got thousands and thousands of clients that we've helped. I have a personally obtained over $125 million from my clients. Uh, hopefully you never need to call us, but God forbid you do. Uh, you'll rest easy knowing that the case handler team is working hard for you and your family. 844-774-3529, 844 
774-3529 or Google the case handler. We won't roll up to you at the scene of the accident. We won't, you won't be finding us coming up to you in the emergency room. Doctors aren't handing you our business card. We run a legit operation here. If you need our help, you must call us. Otherwise, we don't know you exist. And I wish you the best of luck with those other attorneys um, that you think maybe are a better choice just because they're cutting corners and getting to you first. Our reputation stands on its own. We are Pollock Pollock Isaac DeSico. I am your boy, the case handler. One chance, one choice. Make it the case handler team. Make it Pollock Pollock Isaac DeSico. You know, if I could jump in for a sec. Absolutely, what, what brother. I, what, I like most, what I like most about this story is actually Mike's picture. Like that is a genuine, that is a genuine smile. Yeah. Let's go, let's go back to that real quick. That is a you're, genuine. You're right. This dude, let me just tell you, this guy was such oh, a nice he, guy. Yeah. And look at that, look yeah. at that face. Look at that punum, as we say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And for those of you listening on 93.5 FM, check out Case Handler on Instagram or Facebook. Check out PPID on, K on Instagram or Facebook. You've been connected to these stories. Squeeze, we got top of the hour coming up. Give everybody, uh, let's close it down. All right, definitely. Once again, speaking about top of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to make it very clear. I don't want people to get it, get confused, you know, because yeah, there are quite a few, um, you know, firms advertising with the station, but there's only one case handler, only one man that has been consistent for 15 solid years on this radio station, and it's the man that you just heard, Adam Handler. So don't get it confused with the top of the hours or anyone else. And a little bit of confusion has been happening, and I wanted to clear that up. I am David Squeeze Anarchy. And I endorse this message. Anyway, call the firm at 844-774-3529. That's 844-PPID-LAW. 844-774-3529. It's 10 o'clock. All right. Nailed it, buddy. Nailed it. That's it. That's what I do. Now that All we're right. on Facebook, you know, it's only people watching us right now live, which I love. And is it me or does, does Conrad look like he could be telling us like a Christmas story right now? He's by the <laughs> fireplace. He's relaxed. I feel like he should be smoking a pipe. He's got his beautiful artwork. You know, good for you, man. It's good to be the CEP. It's good to be the maestro. As speaking of Conrad, I, you know, I got a question here from Facebook Mr. Gordon has. So let's, um, let's get to Mr. Gordon's question here on the immigration side. Thank you so much, Adam Handler, for handling the personal injury side. I can say it. You can't say it. You're the effing best, all right? I said Thanks, it, man. okay? So people call him. You get hurt in an accident, he's the man you need, all right? When I say effing, I meant freaking, all right? I don't know what y'all thinking. But, okay, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. All right, so Mr. Gordon, you asked a question. Here it is, uh, Conrad or Nelson. Hey, guys, have a question. I am a green card holder for over four years. I have filed to remove the condition for a while now. Everything for me will be expired on December the 17th. What can I do? I already extended my driver's license for three months. I drive for a living. And we have more questions too. Uh, Conrad, you want to answer that? Well, if he filed his, he had to file a 751 application to remove the conditions of his, uh, of his resident status. If he did that, when you file, typically within a month, you get a letter from immigration, which is the filing receipt, which automatically extends your status. Mm -hmm. I don't know when he received that. I'm going to assume that he received it and it expired already because he'd been waiting more than a year, although now they give those for two years typically. Um, he could apply to immigration to get another extension. He could go to immigration, try to do it himself. He could hire us. We do that all the time. Uh, but it is possible to get another extension. You don't want to be traveling or doing anything without an actual extension saying your card has been extended. You know, and, and just to add to that, I think we've spoken about this in, uh, in the past, you know, so somebody is married for less than two years. So you get what's initially called a conditional green card three months before the two years or three months before that conditional green card is set to expire. You file an application for permanent resident status. That's a green card that is valid for 10 years. Um, 751s, which is the application that you would file for basically the 10 year green card, based on my experience, it does take time. You know, this isn't something that happens in six or eight months. You know, we've seen cases, Conrad, that have taken from a year to two years. Yeah. So it's not really unusual. You know, another option, Conrad, is you can hire a lawyer. A lawyer can contact immigration on your behalf. 
and ultimately threaten a mandamus action, right? And say, look- What's I a think- mandamus action? A mandamus action is a federal action. It's a lawsuit that's basically filed in federal court. Um, you know, immigration can't just take your money and not adjudicate or not give you a decision on your application. You know, they can't sit on an application for an indefinite amount of time and not give you a yes or give you a no. Um, so basically what you do is the lawyer typically reaches out to immigration on several occasions. You want to document all of this. And then eventually you get to the point where you say, look, we've tried to resolve this in an amicable manner. You know, obviously you refuse to respond or cooperate. You know, if we don't hear back from you within, you know, X amount of time, you're leaving us no choice but to file a mandamus action in, you know, district court. Um, Sometimes it works. Sometimes you have to file the federal action. Um, Another option is, you know, and and we've seen this as well. Sometimes that 751 is pending for so long that now the person is eligible for citizenship, right? And now one of the things we recommend is file for citizenship. And what happens is during your citizenship interview, they can actually do both interviews at once. You know, so that's another option another way to go absolutely once again ladies and gentlemen speaking with the attorneys uh adam handler is your personal injury attorney and partner at the firm nelson madrid also at the firm for 14 years plus as a partner conrad call up the managing partner is here also all right so remember call him now 844-774-3529 that's 844-774-3529 we're asking you please share as you're watching all right let people know that there is a great platform where they can get their questions answered. Now, it's not just about getting your questions answered. It's also about having the right attorney handling your case. All right, so let's get to another question that's here on the Facebook. It says here, uh, from Nara, can I do premium service for the I-130 application? No. And it, it follows up by saying, does petition for alien relative spouse have the premium service like the employment based cases? No, no, no. No. Typically just, just, you know, again, just some information, some very general information. Um, I-130s, which is an alien relative petition, uh, USC, let's hypothetically petitioning for his spouse, that used to take, I'd say six to eight months. Used to take. Now, you're looking at eight months to a year. You know, there are certain situations where they could approve that petition without an interview. There are other situations where the petition is randomly selected and the clients are scheduled for an interview. Okay. And an alien relative petition is basically immigration recognizing that it's a real marriage, right? Because a lot of people think, oh, well, I'm married. Well, you know, yes, you are legally married, but for immigration purposes, until immigration actually approves that I-130 or alien relative petition, you know, immigration has not recognized that marriage as a real marriage. Got you. In order to obtain an immigration benefit. Got you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thanks to everyone for tuning in. Uh, Gentlemen, uh, you know, I am going to be beating up on you this week because we need to do at least two shows in the evening this week. All right, sounds good. Listen, you know, people uh, people want it. People get what they want. Listen, we're here to give the information out. Anything we can do uh, to let everybody know that we uh, are Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico. We do things very, very differently than other law firms out there, particularly other law firms that are broadcasting on 93.5 and social media. Um, we are practicing attorneys. That means that we are the attorneys that are going to be working on your file, not just talking to you on the radio, not just talking to you on Facebook. If you have COVID, God forbid, and you and it's raining out, your attorney is going to walk down the street and make sure that your COVID test, all right, is with the immigration um, officer in the file with an extra copy stamped so your rights are not prejudiced. That's how we do it here at Pollock Pollock Guys at Zico. Uh, Nelson, that client is lucky to have you as a lawyer. You know, thank you. And it's actually funny because I was not loving myself this morning, walking in the rain with the wind about to destroy my umbrella. And I said to myself, you know, don't think about it. It's not about you. It's about the client, right? Your client needs this. This has to happen. Make sure it's done right. 
So, yeah, but I was not a happy camper, I got to tell you. I mean, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Well, you got it done. That's what I, got, really I did get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thanks to each and every one for tuning in right here on Facebook. Also, for those of you who switched over from 93.5 FM, we do come your way 9.30 a.m. each and every single weekday on Saturdays between 6 and 8, and also on Sundays between 10 and 2. We're we'll going to be doing a lot of makeup this week, so I'm going to be dragging them on uh, social media. Adam, you and I, we got to do Instagram later, all right? And uh, Nelson and Conrad, we got to do Facebook this week also. So ladies and gentlemen, call the number 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Prior results to that guarantee similar outcome. But ladies and gentlemen, this is what they do. The attorneys at PPID, they treat you like family. Call them, 844-774-3529. Get a free phone consultation with an attorney. Just schedule it and they'll take care of you. And then you hire them. 844-774-3529. Thank you, gentlemen. Have yourself an amazing stormy Monday. It's going to be great.